chi la la lie rye pie i don't know hi it's christina and i'm on the quest for the perfect bib short i'm going to be doing some longer gravel events which will probably be anywhere between six hours to 12 hours in the saddle so i'm really looking for something that will not rub or ride up my leg all these problems i've had with various bib shorts i've used so this year i'm really going to be testing as many brands as i can get my hands on Today I'm going to be reviewing these Asos bibs. They're supposedly not very comfortable when you're just walking around the house, um, but they're supposed to really fit and feel optimal on the bike when you're in that position. These are pretty pricey bibs, not as expensive as the Machines for Freedom, um, but still over $200. These bibs are really unique in that there's no stitching in this area of the chamois. This is one of those spots where I tend to get a lot of rubbing, where that leg connects to your kind of like crotch area and like the fabric can start to bunch up and cause a lot of pain where the chamois could potentially be rubbing. They have this clasp that allows you to wear the bibs rather over your head in this kind of yoke position. I don't think this is made in the best way possible because it is still really hard to go to the bathroom um, by unclasping this. You're riding around and you suddenly need to go to the bathroom. So you're like, great, I have this awesome little contraption and now I'm gonna go pee. But really, you just get choked. So you think, maybe I can take this over my head. I tried this earlier and basically what happens is you have to pull the string out and you're kind of stuck wondering how to put this thing back on over your jersey. So it's definitely a little bit of a design flaw, but I have seen some that clasp on the back, so we'll investigate those in later videos. One feature that I actually really enjoyed with these bibs, only part of the actual band is that kind of elastic. The rest of it relies on a folded over and hemmed material that is used throughout the rest of the bib. It's um, super comfortable. It didn't feel like an elastic band that was like strangling your leg. I feel like this is a little bit more flattering and a little bit more comfortable. Despite having only half elastic and half rubber grippers, the bib shorts didn't ride up at all and they were really almost the perfect length. This material in general is really durable feeling. Um, it really sucks you in and it is not very see-through. I wore these bibs today for about four hours. Um, and one thing that I did notice and is very prevalent in a lot of the bibs that I wear is the placement of the chamois versus my sit bones is off. So I went ahead and marked where my sit bones are actually hitting when I was sitting on the bike. And if you'll notice, the actual ridge of the chamois is here. So when I'm sitting on the bike, my sit bones kind of fall off the more high volume part of the chamois and start to kind of rub. And I don't know if it's because of the way the chamois is placed because it does flare out further back and I would be sitting in the right position if the chamois moves moved a little bit further forward. That being said, I think these are really thoughtfully designed in the area of the chamois. I just don't think they fit me per se. If that's a problem you tend to have with most of your chamois, then you should potentially consider not using these bibs. The chamois itself is pretty nice. I really do enjoy the fact that this is not sewn in. This chamois is relatively thick. You can tell in here that it's graded layers of foam. So in theory, you were sitting and situated correctly on this chamois, you would get all the support you needed. After a four hour ride today, I found I had zero issues with this area rubbing, which is something I really commonly have. 
but I was starting to feel this becoming a little bit of a pain on my sit bones just because it really was starting to rub a bit, especially because there is such a big difference between the density of, and I guess level of the foam here and the rest of the chamois. If you're somebody whose sit bones are not as wide as mine, I would say definitely go for these bib shorts. They are super comfortable otherwise. And this bib in general, I'd say, it's probably a four out of five stars for me. I would consider doing a long ride in these, but there are some things I would fix about them. And I can't say that this is the 100% perfect solution to all the bibs out there. But in any case, um, I would definitely give these a shot if you have an extra like $230 sitting in your bank. Try these bib shorts make sure to leave a comment below don't forget to like comment and subscribe